Hello everybody, Austin Mecker here again with another video from Austin's Automotive Advice. And today, I wanted to give you guys a second update video on my 2014 Ford Focus. Again, this is a hatchback model and it is the base or the SE. And it's pretty special because as, it, as you guys may have seen in the last video, this is a five-speed manual. So, makes it kind of interesting because many of the Focus as well as the Fiesta models kind of from you know 2012 to 20 I guess I guess they're still kind of using the same body style now but um, that you know Ford kind of had for a lot of the smaller cars was the world platform for both those cars and the Focus in general most of them had the power shift automatic transmission and if you guys don't already know this that you know really wasn't that great of transmission it had a lot of recalls and the you know manuals that came in these cars are honestly i've driven uh, so i'll kind of talk about this too um, throughout the video but i've driven now a focus st a fiesta st and this car um, as well as just a base fiesta that was at hills automatic mode but um, but i've driven all of those cars just kind of test you know what kind of was all out there and again i mean i've driven many different manual cars before i actually purchased this one um, again i purchased it last last year uh, to be precise so um back in february of 2020 is when i purchased this car and i'm still driving it it's uh september 2021 right now um again this is being filmed in minnesota and I uh, just wanted to kind of, again, you know, bring you guys through some of the ups and downs that I have with this car, as well as just, you know, still kind of what I think and why I still own it, because I am someone personally who really likes to have a lot of variety and try different cars. And so the fact that I still have this car, um, being that it, you know, I've had it this long now is kind of actually surprising even to me, because, you know, most of my cars that I've had, have been, I've really only kept them for probably like six months um, to a year and then I've kind of got rid of them and so the fact that I've had this one now over a year and a half is pretty astonishing uh, from some aspects. But um, anyways, yeah, so we'll kind of just, you know, start talking about basically. So again, with this being this car, um, I wasn't really even looking for a Ford Focus um, necessarily. I was, you know, looking at different manual cars and this one kind of caught my attention the previous owner you know took very good care of it and stuff drove it a lot of highway miles uh, so when i bought the car there was 138,000 already on the car which for being only you know six years old when i bought it seven years old now was a lot um, but that means that it was driven and you know honestly for me it was really interesting to find somebody who took care of their car because again I think that's critical with any kind of car that you buy is to always make sure that you got somebody who either has the records or you know like you know took care of it or you know you can buy somebody that you trust um, it from and you know for this car like I said you know it was uh, driven by a younger gentleman but he took very good care of the car he always used synthetic oil which I still do um, you know we kind of did a brand swap because uh, I use more of the Valvoline stuff he used more of the Mobile One but you know honestly the car has been and this this will be for anybody who's looking at this car again um, this car has been phenomenal I mean I, I can't say enough good things about this car from the aspect of how this transmission feels to how everything is still pretty tight in here even I mean yes the build quality again is not great I think I talked about it in the previous video but this car has been nothing but reliable. I've literally done nothing to it except for buying snow tires, putting in oil, and putting in gas. Like, that's literally it. Um, Serving heat belt is totally fine. Uh, the radio has been a little bit sporadic sometimes. I know it, uh, it's went out a time or two, but it has come back within a matter of, like, a couple weeks. Um, and, you know, honestly, it's really, like I said, just been a big joy to drive this car because it is just you know very low maintenance um, you get phenomenal gas mileage with it and you know like I said before it's just been such an easy car to you know throw into corners and um, just drive on a daily basis so currently actually right now um, even though this is being filmed in uh, 
again, this is, you know, Daytona, Minnesota. I actually uh, am right now living in Fargo, North Dakota, and this car, you know, being even in a little bit bigger city is honestly, you know, it's it's been great. Uh, it's, you know, it's super easy to still, you know, roll through the gears. Um, even at stoplights and stuff like that, I thought it'd be irritating, but you know what, it's really not. Because, uh, you know, again, in this car, the clutch is so easy and so light, and it grabs at the perfect time. Uh, I will talk about that. When I drove the Focus ST and the Fiesta ST, they're both very similar cars as far as the way their gearbox is kind of laid out and kind of the way they felt as far as like their craft points, you know, in, uh, in the travel for the clutch, as well as just the way that their uh, driving dynamics are. And honestly, I know some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you're totally wrong on this aspect. But it is interesting how I personally think that or what you're getting and stuff. Well, I mean, number one, after driving a totally stock Fiesta ST, the Focus ST that I drove was a little bit modified. Um, but after driving both, like, they're both very good cars. Uh, don't get me wrong. But for the extra money, I dare you guys to go honestly just drive a uh, regular Focus or regular Fiesta with a five speed because. Even with their lack of power and stuff, I mean, you chuck this thing into literally a lot of corners and with a good set of tires on it and, you know, being able to just kind of, you know, rev out some of the gears and stuff like that. I mean, honestly, like, even a third, I mean, this thing's got, you know, fairly decent pull. I mean, there's 50 right there. Um, and, you know, it's, again, it's just, it's super easy to, um, like I said, you know, shift through everything. Everything's super fluid. I will say the previous owner before me did change the transmission fluid out before he sold the car to me. So at, I think it was 100000 in or a little bit over that, he changed the oil, which was you know, recommended in the owner's manual, which I still have, which is great. Um, but again, the key is to these cars, guys, is that honestly, I've driven many manuals by now. Like I said, everything from, you know, older trucks to a uh, newer Jeep that was stick to, you know, other sports cars. And I drove a lot of automatic stuff as well. I mean, just, you know, various cars across the board. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is honestly one of the best spy speeds for the money you can possibly buy. Um, as well as just, you know, one of the best cars you can buy for the money that's been reliable. It's been honestly almost more fun than some of the Honda Civics that I've driven. Um, and like I said, with this price tag and this gas mileage and stuff, I mean, I'm getting right now 33 miles to the gallon if you're nice to the car. And I mean, even if you're revving it out a little bit, right? So I mean, here's second, third, fourth, right? I mean, it's, you still get good gas mileage. So even right there, it was, you know, mid twenties. But I mean, honestly, if you're driving this on the highway 75, 80 miles an hour, you know, it's only revving at three grand and you're able to, you know, still pull, you know, 35 plus miles to the gallon on the highway. And, you know, like I said, you know, this being, I think it has about a 12 gallon tank. It still gets you a long ways with the fuel. And, you know, like I said, I mean, you're not costing that much at the Phillips. It's not costing that much, honestly, for this car for insurance. It's, you know, a low entry cost. So even with low miles, you can get these things usually you know, under seven grand, like I said, with the miles that I had on it, I bought it actually well under five grand. So again, for the money, especially in this crazy used car market that it's been in the past, you know, two years, call it, that this is a very viable option, I think, for a lot of people who are looking out there to be in a more budget-friendly, enthusiast-type vehicle that fits a lot of needs. Again, I fit a full-size mountain bike in here, I fit down as well as large skis. I, you know, am in a lot of different activities. So I am always trying to take this car places. You know, would it be nice some days for more space and or more power? Yes. Uh, but again, for the value proposition, even after driving more exciting cars such as the Fiesta ST or the Focus ST, again, you know, uh, I'll come back to that now, is that those cars ball great and while you can tell there was definitely more power to like the Focus ST, there was definitely more torque down low, that it's 
surprising to me that while you're paying or I guess while you're getting that extra bump and power, a little bit, you know, uh, more of like a rigid, you know, chassis as well as just, you know, better brake, suspension, etc. You're kind of giving up that money. So you have to you really decide what's, a, what's important to you when you're buying a car is that do you want something that's going to be, you know, a little bit tighter than this, a little bit more, you know, like uh, easier to tune, you know, things that you want to do to it. Consider all these things when you're buying any car, but especially, like I said, you're comparing those two because, honestly, for the value, this car is just really good. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I said before, it's just it's such an easy clutch to use. I can't stress that enough. Um, how this car has just been—it's—it's—it's it's, it's really made me appreciate the joy of driving a uh, manual transmission. And you know, like I said before, I. I actually still prefer the five speeds over a lot of the six speeds. I think it's just because I think their pattern is made out easier. It's a lot easier to find some gears. Um, you know, when when I've driven some bigger vehicles or even you know small smaller cars that have six speeds and stuff, it's just it's I don't know. I I think these are you know easier laid out, and you know for it even being in this class, this is actually a longer throw, but it still is a very short throw, and it's honestly like I said still very very easy to find the gears and you know which one you're getting into and honestly like I said if there's any car I can recommend for a beginner who just wants to learn to drive stick or just wants to get you know more experience with the car or again have something that's you know just like a reliable second car commuter or whatever the case definitely consider this you know generation Hogan uh, do yourselves a favor and drive this focus generation because it is definitely worth your time and it's definitely worth uh, what they ask for the money um, honestly like I said it's I'd be surprised if more people it's it's kind of this hidden car honestly uh, and I I guess I mean I like that you know being that I picked it up for what I did but again just um, I'll be trying to make more videos like I said with this car and or uh, other cars but um, with that guys I just want to leave you guys with uh, this video again to have kind of a second review and um, just again wanted to um, share kind of some things about the car and so you guys can kind of you know figure out how things are going and uh, if any of you guys are interested again in this generation of focus definitely check it out and um, yeah I think with that I think that's pretty much everything so again thanks again for, for watching the video hope you guys have good luck with your car buying and we'll see you next time Thank you.